Flitsbezorgers zorgen niet alleen in Amsterdam voor problemen. Sinds de snelle opkomst van bedrijven zoals Flink, Getier en Gorilla's hebben niet alleen bewoners in Nederlandse steden met overlast te maken, maar ook in het buitenland. Zoals in Barcelona en Madrid. Ik heb gesproken met de neighbors voor de laatste jaar en ze complain over noise. Um, because the, this, those dogs, those are in, in residential areas in the city center. So neighbors complain about the noise, the constant coming and going of delivery drivers and the speed with, uh, with, with which the riders circulate since, since they have to deliver their package in 15 minutes. And sometimes they skip traffic lights or go in the opposite direction to get the places before. In Amsterdam mogen voorlopig geen nieuwe darkstores worden geopend en ook in andere Nederlandse steden, waaronder Rotterdam, Den Haag, Utrecht, Groningen en Nijmegen, zijn de darkstores aan banden gelegd. Zo ook in Spanje. At the moment, any company can open a, a, a new dark store in Barcelona, and this plan is expected to come into force into the next two years. At the moment, the city council is is, is talking with neighbors, with companies to to reach an, an agreement. But however, like their message has been very, very clear as they have made like so that they don't want like that dark business in the city. De Britse flitsbezorger Zep kondigde deze week aan dat het Nederland definitief verlaat vanwege de strenge regelgeving. In Spanje trekt Gorilla zich volgens Alcalde terug. En volgens hem is er een kans dat meer flitsbezorgers dit gaan doen vanwege de economische situatie. Those companies two years ago they were raising a lot of money from venture capital, but now the macroeconomic situation is completely different. Like the, the war in Ukraine, all the problems with them with gas and I mean this situation is, is completely different and then this um, our economic recession is coming by the end of the year. So all the venture capital have stopped funding those unprofitable business and now they're struggling. De journalist denkt dat er tegen het einde van het jaar nog maar één of twee flitsbezorgers zullen overblijven. Of dat inderdaad zo is, is nog even afwachten.